sideways lesser. Straight, sideways more. Okay, go back. Okay. So you you come, you're standing open. So this is why when you come right until here, you see uh, it's already face there. So you should standing over here. Yeah, so your face there. So you'll see you'll make yourself more sideways. Why your ball didn't go so harder is because you didn't really turn a lot your body back. You still control with your wrist a lot because you try to aim. But if you can aim with the sideways, right? Then you can go with more powerful. Now you only can, you take control by your wrist, but your body angle still a bit wrong. Yeah, let's say sideways now enough. Then you need to use your wrist to control more. But if you can sideways the angle properly, you can use your wrist to give the strength also. Your full strength. So see, sideways more. We want to see the direction. You try to aim double line and single line. I don't need you play in, but I want to see the direction correct. Sorry, more. Yeah, technique say, you're letting balls at your right. Or let the balls on your right in front. So you let it be right side more, you'll be more straighter. So how much sideways you need? Because everyone different. For me, I like to sideways this one. I can aim the straight already, but I don't know you. How much sideways you feel comfortable? Okay, I don't want you slow down control by your wrist. Your wrist only control spin and push, not controlling direction. Control direction by your side weight, yeah. Because before we did teach you say control by bracket face, right? Gonna control left and right. No. Bracket face. So you'll make a bad habit that you'll go, sometimes you didn't side weight a lot, but you force your wrist like this one. Yeah. Okay, but might be injured. Yeah, but that time you were playing slow, so it's okay. But now you're getting play faster and faster and stronger, right? You get this one first, and after that get this one. That's why I use your body angle. Go with the full strength, then I'd rather you hit out. At least you're not playing to the middle. Yeah, so everything, your squat, your sideway. More, more. Aim with the double slide. Yeah, double slide, single slide between. You sideway a lot. So you'll find out another problem, right? It's distance. You did impact, you did sideway. But your ball here or here? Yeah. Because you much, if you're straight, you'll be much easier to slap, right? Uh huh. That's why it's sideway and distance. Uh huh. Can sideway more a bit if you're standing from here. Turn. Yeah. Okay, what about here? Turn. Uh huh. Okay. Cross. You see? It looks like you're same sideways, you know. Your downward line should sideway more. You don't, do you feel the cross cut? You sideway like this one. And your downward line also sideway like this one, but your cross cut more stronger. Yeah, it's because it just fit. You put your left hand point to your side. Point to the side. How? Right, because you're going like that. So I can see your back. Actually, it's just you. You're hitting too early. The impact point. By right, we should impact from the side. Then you also, you did sideways a lot. But you still hit the ball too early. Okay, you try to hit the ball late a bit. See that? Okay. So this is not your sideways problem anymore. It's your timing problem. You need to get used to it. Where to impact and hit the straight. Uh, why your why your straight cannot slap like this one? Uh? See, so fast.